Let's talk about some toxic perfume community traits that I experienced. Number one, I need to be a perfume porter to be a good reviewer. I have seen people with two, three, five hundred perfume bottles behind them and there's nothing wrong with it. If your finances support, totally go for it. However, I personally felt that I was getting sucked into this peer pressure of spending thousands of dollars on fragrance bottles. And I realized I don't need a large collection of pill bottles to review perfumes and to speak my opinions out. My reviews can be based out of samples and that is totally okay. I learned that instead of getting a full bottle, I can get a sample. If I really love that sample, I can get a 10ml. And if I like that 10ml bottle, that is when I would go ahead and spend uh, on the full bottle. I learned that to me, financial strength brings mental peace and stability in my life also finding the right balance between saving and spending on things that i love is crucial to me that way when i buy something i am filled with gratitude and would treasure the pieces i own second ditching my favorite perfumes because it's popular or it gets hate scents like Baccarat Rouge, Santa 33, Delina, which people say that everybody uses these perfumes and it's so mainstream. I personally haven't experienced that everybody around me is wearing these perfumes and even if they are, I wouldn't mind. And there are perfumes on the other end of the spectrum that gets a lot of hate like Black Opium, Mugler's Angel, um, Pink Sugar uh, that's considered juvenile. I'm really trying not to get influenced by uh, people's opinions and wear perfumes that I love. I buy a certain perfume because I enjoy it. Perfume should always be about you. If you like oud, go for it. If you like um, or if you enjoy gourmands, definitely. Black opium, absolutely. If you love Baccarat, don't care if everybody else is wearing or if the fragrance community thinks that it's overused. Just wear it because you love it. Number three, not using my perfumes. I noticed that I was spending so much time and effort on trying new perfumes that I was never using my, my full bottles that I once bought because I loved them. I was constantly on this run to try new fragrances that are viral on TikTok, new launches and I just went in this rabbit hole and completely forgot about the full bottles that I already have. I think that it's very important to give myself a break once in a while and stop trying new fragrances and just enjoy the ones I already have and appreciate and cherish my existing collection. This gives a feeling of contentment and being thankful for the good things in my life. And these toxic traits not only apply to the fragrance community but to other social media communities like skincare or makeup. I would love to know if you have any toxic traits that affected your fragrance journey and if and how you overcame them.